Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Dragon Ball Action. Today I'm giving you guys my episode predictions for Dragon Ball Super 76. For the preview, let's go ahead and get right into this. This shouldn't take too long. I don't really think there's a whole lot to say. But obviously the last episode ended off with these villains that they have previously faced. You know, Tambori, uh, Tambourine, Dabora, Cell, Frieza, I saw Super Boo, uh, you know, Nappa and Vegeta. I thought it was where we had Vegeta, and I think he's somewhere in this preview um, as well. I thought that was weird that he was on there just because, you know, obviously Vegeta's now an ally, so it was kind of weird seeing Vegeta there. Yeah, it's a, it's someone they had previously faced, but at the same time, it just came. It seems weird with that dynamic of him being there, but um, I'm sure this is all some mental manifestation. I don't know, but the problem is this this whole situation is going on between Goku and Krillin. So I think it's kind of interesting that you know they would be here, but whatever. One thing I do like about this is that. Number one, I don't know why the heck everyone's giant. I guess it is to be more foreboding, to be um, a lot more powerful looking. And I think it, this really is an episode that's going to be for Krillin to really buckle down, man up, and uh, take action here. Get stronger, show that he can be stronger. I mean, last episode he got hurt by a freaking bullet, which, I mean, Krillin's been shot before and it hurt him here. But before it, it, it wouldn't even break the skin, so... You know, he was bleeding in the last episode, which made absolutely no sense. I know it didn't a review, but, you know, we kind of got caught up with certain things that got revealed. But what I like about this thing with Tambourine is that, you know, Krillin seemed, at least at the end of the episode, what I liked was, Krillin seemed extra afraid of Tambourine, and that's obviously because, uh, what I would assume is because, you know, Tambourine had killed him in the past, so, but, I mean, Krillin should be able to wipe him out with a finger. Obviously, we have King Piccolo there. Ginyu Force Cell, and all these guys, I don't know if they just change sizes or not, because they're obviously a lot bigger here than what we just saw earlier. Um, Dabora on the top left, you can see his chest and his clothes and all that stuff, so I think it's going to be an interesting episode. I don't really know if it's going to be super good, um, I don't know if it's even going to be, any... it's going to be interesting to see if it's going to be voice acting from any of the villains, that's my curiosity, like let's see, are we going to get stuff from Cell? Uh, Gin you know, anyone really. I mean, it's maybe the Ginyu Force just because of that they're going to do their little quotes, but that'd be about it, I would think. But Goku's kind of coaching him, saying, you know, we got to finish the errands for Master Roshi. They're here for that, that leaf, the plant. And that's why they came to the island in the first place. And uh, I'm guessing Krillin's probably frustrated that he he's probably too frightened. Remember in the Resurrection F arc, uh, Krillin was initially afraid to fight, at least from my memory. Uh, was initially afraid to fight the Frieza soldiers, and then when he realized, you know, oh, like these guys are pushovers, he kind of just went right through them. So I think Krillin has some serious um, issues with his self-esteem, it seems, which he really shouldn't when you got a girl, like, 18 at your house all the time, but, you know, that's, I guess that's his problem. I do want to mention, though, this scene we he see here with Goku and Krillin shooting Kamehameha's uh, at the Ginyu Force. I don't know if this is just because they have to do a combined attack to defeat them somehow. Maybe they're like super, super, like insanely powered up. My guess is probably Goku's doing that alongside Krillin to kind of coach him along. But I mean, we have no idea how strong these guys even are. Um, maybe that they're super weak. I don't know. I'm sure they're nothing to Goku, but maybe Krillin will have trouble with some of them, obviously. I mean, he's not as strong as Cell, we know that, or Freezy even. Something though tells me, since we've seen so many shots of Tambourine, I feel like it is going to be a major part of the episode. That's just me. It's something that's like haunting Krillin. But at the same time, you know, obviously Frieza killed Krillin too, but Tambourine was the first one to, to put Krillin in the ground. So there might be something there. I'm not sure. And I mean, both Tambourine and Frieza obviously did boast about Krillin's death. So it'll be interesting if I hope that there is dialogue specifically for that that'd be really interesting to see but that's about it defeat these terrifying enemies Krillin fighting spirit return so presumably we're gonna see Krillin you know really buckle up in this episode and get shit done hopefully um, I'm not doing the that's about it for my pre uh, my predictions my thoughts and all that stuff because I didn't do the review so I thought I should share a little bit of insight I guess on what I thought has been going on um, but I don't have the actual the the universe survival teaser you guys may have seen it if you don't know i'm not breaking it down in this video i've done a separate video that i've already broken it down in 
I'll leave a link to that. Um, at the, it'll be at the end of this video. You'll see it as an annotation. I did it separately. This is its own thing. So hopefully you guys enjoy this regardless. Sorry if I sound a little bit um, different. I, I didn't sleep at all last night, to be quite honest with you. So, But, you know, regardless, I got this video up for you guys. So yada, yada, yada. If you enjoy the video, leave a like. If you disliked the video, leave a dislike, of course. And, as I always say, I'll catch you guys later.